We're up in northern Minnesota doing a little ice camping. We're going to be ice camping for 72 hours, but today's video is only going to be the first 24 hours. The other two nights, I want to focus on filming some other videos, but the plan for today is we got the ice camping tent set up. We're going to fish inside the tent a little bit, see if it's hot in 22 feet of water. Otherwise, we're going to take that side by side and we're going to work this whole entire lake and try to find walleye. And as soon as it gets dark, we're going to chase after some burbot, do a little walleye and burbot fishing. And most likely there's a lot of pike here. We'll probably hook into some pike as well. Should be a good night. I got some high hopes, never fished this lake, but I found some good looking spots I want to try. So we're going to get ready, get all rigged up and we're going to start fishing. Hope you guys enjoy. Let's get started. Alrighty. What I'm thinking my plan is, I think I'm going to start out by hole hopping. I spent a little bit of time inside fishing in here. We're in 22 feet of water right here on a little bit of a point and I want to work all the way up to about 35 feet. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to grab the side by side. I'm going to hop in that and I'm going to whole hop this lake, go for miles, fish different spots, fish different depths, fish saddles, fish basins, fish flats, and try to find the walleye. We got about an hour and a half till sunset. I'm going to start up the side by side and let's go do a little running gunning for some walleye. All right, we're gonna get started here today. The bait of choice we're gonna start out with is the Acme Hyper Hammer. It's a little jig and wrap. The color is Fire Tiger and I have it tipped with a fathead's head. I'm gonna use that for walleye and then once it starts getting later tonight, for burbot, I'm gonna throw down some big nasty baits or any kind of bait I have, if that's a Castmaster or an Acme Spoon that has a ton of glow and I'm just gonna tip it with three or four fatheads. Give it a lot of bait and just bounce that bait right off bottom. But for now, let's catch some walleye and let's get ourselves dropped all the way down here we're in 28 feet of water not super super deep but it is definitely definitely deep here it is the prime sunset bite so this is pretty much the best time i could be fishing right now the sun is literally going down as we speak so i'm hoping for the best right here we're on a little bit of a slight drop off to start out at the first hole but it looks pretty promising i am seeing some movement down there below my bait but those could be some little perch or any other smaller fish oh look at this guy Oh yeah, here we go, here we go. Get up here, get up here. Get... Got him. Got him. Hey. Little walleye. First one of the night, folks. That is awesome. Came right off bottom, about 15 feet away. Came through and chomped it. Look at that one right there. What a beauty. Not a monster by any means, but a good start to the night. We're going to get it right back in the water and catch another one. All right, I want to get back down as absolutely quick as possible. Fish came out, super aggressive, hammered it. I'm thinking this might be some, some deep water fishing today. That might be the case here. We're going to get this guy dropped right back down. Let's get ourselves another fish here. I'm gonna hit bottom here a few times, stir up the bottom, make a little bit of commotion. We have a very limited amount of time to catch these walleye because the bite is not super, super long. As soon as it gets after dark, it's dead. Not too much of a walleye bite after dark. There's always that possibility, but it's mainly just burbs. We're gonna give this spot maybe another 10 or 15 minutes max and then move around. I don't want to sit in one spot for too long. I want to move as much as I can. Kind of optimize the location we're at and be able to move. So we'll see. We'll give it a few more minutes here. If we don't see anything else come through, we're going to move down a little bit. Alrighty. Let's drop a bait down right here. 25 feet. We're about 10 feet shallower than where we were before. I want to see if that makes a huge impact here. We're going to give it about 5 to 10 minutes at each hole. If I'm not seeing anything, we're gonna keep moving. It looks like something right under me. Come on, yeah, it's definitely a walleye. Can I get him to come up though? That's the question, come here. Uh, he's not really wanting to turn too much. My guess is the majority of these fish are gonna be a little bit shallower, around 20 to 25 feet around this time and to maybe a little bit after sunset. 
And after that, if any walleye are gonna bite, they're gonna be a little bit deeper. I'm guessing maybe around 30, 35 feet max, but definitely a little bit deeper than this. I'm gonna probably try to stick around the 28 to 30 feet range and stay there for the burbot and possibly some walleye before that time. I'm curious to see here if there's anything in 25 feet right now. Otherwise, we're gonna move a little bit deeper. Yeah, oh, here we go, here we go. Get up here, get up here. He's coming up and let's see it, buddy. Got him. There we go. No, little guy. <laughs> Oopsies. Pull the live scope pull right off of there. Just a little guy, but he chomped it. Here is this guy right here, just a little one. I'm gonna drop that back right there. I wanna get this guy right back down there so I can send another bait down as soon as possible here. Alrighty, we're gonna get ready here to drop down for some burbot. Here is what we're using. Big glow-in-the-dark jig head with three fat heads. And I'm gonna throw this jig head right next to my light there to give it a little bit of extra glow. And she is good to go. Let's get her dropped down. Let's catch ourselves a burbot. I wanna make my way all the way to bottom here and I just wanna hit that bottom. I'm gonna get it dropped down to bottom and I'm just gonna start bouncing. There we are. We're on bottom, now we're just gonna kinda of pop it off bottom. Stir up the bottom, make a whole bunch of commotion try to get one of these guys to come through here. Start jigging it. I wanna see what these fish want. Do they want it right off bottom? Or are they willing to come up and eat? My plan for tonight is to try all different kinds of depths. I'm gonna try 25 feet. I might even go back a little bit, try 22, 23 feet, and maybe even go out there to possibly 30, 35 feet. I wanna see what these fish want, see where they're at. So we're just gonna to have to kinda of move around a little bit, switch up baits and see what these fish wanna eat. Oh, what do we got coming across bottom here? Oh, look at this guy. Oh yeah, oh yeah. Got him! Yep. Definitely a burb. Take that pull out. Slowly. Keep going, keep going. All the way. Don't want to get it hooked. There we go. He's trying to... I know. Did he chase it up or...? Yep. Hit it on bottom really hard and he chased her. He's trying to wrap right now. Doing a pretty good job of it too. I turned him on that iron. Yep. Hey. There we go. Hey, that's a give me fish, some, man. give me that's some. Let's about. go. That's a fish there, that is a good one. Oh, yeah. That, that is. is the thing I've ever seen <laughs> Don't hurt the fish's feelings. Hoping all these were. First burb, huh? First burb. First burb, brother. Here you go. Let's, we got it out. Yeah. All right, show them off here for a sec. All right, guys, here she is. Look at that fish right there. What a crazy, crazy fish right there. All right, guys, we're going to get her back in the water. I'll take a video on my phone so you guys can get a better video of the release. And there she goes. I'll put the video on my phone so you guys can get a little bit of a better release. But first burb, and we've been fishing for him for what? Maybe 30 minutes. 30 minutes. Minutes Not too bad. We're going to drop right back down. All right. Let's go like that. Put back. And let's get this guy right back down to bottom. Looks like she's glowing, but I want to glow her up just a little bit more. Perfect. She's glowing and ready to go. Let's catch ourselves another one, guys. Once we hit bottom there, I'm gonna give it one nice tap on bottom and just start bouncing it. We'll sit at this spot for a little bit longer, see if it still produces. Maybe in about 10 minutes, we'll go hit a different spot. Try some deeper water and start moving shallower if they're not deeper. 
because we're in 32 right now. I do have another hole already drilled that's in 35. We'll see if a little bit deeper is any good. Otherwise, we can always move shallower. All right. It seems like the burbot bite has kind of died down. I moved spots probably seven or eight times already, and honestly, just nothing. Couldn't get a fish to bite. Couldn't get anything to come through. So I'm thinking we're going to start getting ready to head to bed and get up early tomorrow morning and chase right back after some early morning walleye. All right, let's head right back in the tent. All right, we are back inside. And I'm gonna take this off because it is getting hot in here. I'm gonna start getting ready for bed. I'm still gonna fish a little tonight, jig around, throw my live scope back down, see if any burbot come through later. Because that is for sure a possibility that some burbs are gonna come through still. But you know what? I came here to catch a burbot and I caught my first burbot. All right, I've been wanting to catch an eel pelt for the longest time and we got it done and that's all that matters to me. Honestly, that is just all that matters to me. I accomplished my goal and we caught some walleye. So there's nothing wrong with that. We're still gonna hit tomorrow morning, get on that early morning walleye bite, try to knock out a few more walleye between me and my buddy. But no matter what, we came here for fish, we caught fish and it's a good time so far. We haven't fished it super hard. We really came out here to relax and just camp. So the fishing was kind of just a bonus, but it's having a good time. We have everything set up. We got the heater going and now we're just going to kind of relax, sit back, take this off. And we're just going to kind of jig in bed here. I'm going to send down a bait and see what else wants to come through while we're just relaxing. Otherwise, I will see you guys in the morning. Yeah, here, I'll move that. Keep going, keep going. Just don't, don't stop. There you go, bud. Middle of the night fish here. Let's see what we got. Nice burb. Burb? Burb. There we go. Hey. Hey. hey let's about. go. Middle of the night. Here she is, guys. What a gorgeous, gorgeous fish. Some people hate them. I think they look amazing. Get her back in the water. Let her swim free. Nothing like waking up to a rattle reel. Got to give him a kiss. And... There she goes. All right. We're gonna send the rattle reel back down, put on some more fat heads, have it about six inches to a foot off bottom. In about four hours, we're gonna get up for walleye anyway. But for now, we're gonna send it back down and either get up and chase after some eyes or maybe get another burb. All right, guys. Good morning. Let's get dropped down and see if we can get ourselves a walleye here. It's about seven o'clock in the morning. I meant to get up at around 6.30, but woke up a little bit late. But that's all right. We're going to see if there's any fish down here that want to eat. Not seeing anything on bottom, but it doesn't mean they're not going to be here. I'm going to hit bottom, stir it up a little bit, bounce it off bottom. Try to see if a walleye wants to come through here. Oh, you got to get a walleye. You got to get a walleye. Right now, he's on you. Yeah. Yeah, there you go. Nice, dude. There you go. Nice eye. There's a knife jig on me yesterday, too. Yeah, I saw him come right off bottom there. Came up and smoked it. Nice job. Solid fish. Yeah, for sure. Kill a kiss and go right back down. Ooh, nice little morning eye. Nothing wrong with that at all. Something's under me. Could be a perch though. It's coming, it's coming. Here we go, here we go. Oh. He's coming back. Here we go. Looks like a pretty small mark, but he'll eat it. Got him. Yeah. That's an eye. There we go. Solid fish, man. No, she's just a little one. Better than the perch you thought it was. Here you go. Whoa. Little morning eye here, guys. What a beauty. That is awesome. We're gonna get it right back in the water. Get ourselves another fish. There she goes. Let's see if we can get this guy to eat here. And bring him up a little bit, see if he'll chase. Here we go, here we go, here we go. What? No way. Look at him right here. Is he not gonna eat? What is he doing? Came through, might not even eat. He just came up to eat and never ate. Because I stopped jigging or what? Is he going right for that dead stick? 
Might be. He's on the dead stick. Can't tell which one of these rods he's about to eat. He ate. He ate. Got him. Heck yeah, man. Why is this why is this thing? What's going on? Oh no. Oh they're gonna work. What do you need to do? Let them work the drag. Yep, yep. What do you want me to do? Okay, now we'll do that. Pike. Mm. Pike, dude. Big one or a little one? <sighs> Medium. Should have known it's pike. I'm surprised he didn't eat any faster, though. Usually the pike kind of hammer it right away. This guy didn't. This one took his time. Yeah, give me a second, I'll show them off my camera. I really thought it was a like a semi-decent walleye, but that's all right. Look at that guy right there. We'll take it, guys. We will take it. Let me turn this light off. Just a little pike here. All right, get you right back in the water, buddy. Ooh, and there she goes. Awesome. All righty. I tried fishing outside for a little bit did not produce one bit. I'm thinking it is about time we get out of here. We've been here for three days, spent a whole bunch of time here, and we caught some fish. First time fishing the lake, nothing wrong with that at all. This wasn't my usual ice camping video. I spent more time just hanging out, having fun than I did actually filming. So if you guys are wondering why the video looks like that, how it's all kind of mismatched, that is why. I ended up just putting some clips together from a few days. So some of these clips aren't all the same night. I actually filmed the intro the first night and ended up filming the actual video the last night. So we caught fish, we had a good time, and we made a fun video. Hope you guys did enjoy. The season's slowly coming to an end, but that doesn't mean we're gonna stop making videos. I'm hoping to get as much ice fishing content as I can out before it does get a little bit too warm for the ice. But we caught fish, we had a good time, and I hope you guys enjoyed. I will see you guys in the next one. Peace out.